And President Trump thinks that former National Security Advisor John Bolton is out to get him. Because of course he is, right? Uh, and any court, and, and by the way, any story that involves John Bolton possibly being a good guy, I instantly despise. But we're going to talk about it, right? Uh, now, the Daily Beast is reporting that ever since Bolton left last month, either got fired or resigned. I'm not entirely sure. I believe he did actually get fired uh, because he disagreed with Donald Trump. But that relationship ever since that happened between he and the president has gotten to the point where he has become basically an enemy to the administration. So now in this case, the enemy of my enemy is not my friend uh, because John Bolton's a war criminal. But nonetheless, this has an interesting dynamic. So now, according to the Beast, three people familiar with Trump's private conversations said the president speculated that the former national security advisor was behind anonymous accounts that listed Bolton as one of the top officials deeply disturbed by the Ukraine pressure campaign. So, you know, that's where uh, President Trump broke the law uh, and pressured the Ukrainian president, Vladimir Zelensky, uh, by holding aid money over his head and saying, hey, can you do a favor for me? Investigate the Bidens. And so you can't do that if you're president of the United States. Uh, that is personal corruption because it's to help him in his, ca in his campaign dig up dirt on his political enemies. And so you can't do that. It's a big no-no. But okay, anyway, so now... Trump, according to one source, was clearly implying something to the effect of, oh, gee, I wonder who the source on that could be. Look, I don't know, right? I, honestly, I don't, I don't know who the leaker is uh, or, you know, like if John Bolton is specifically a leaker, he, he probably could be. Uh, it's very likely. It's also likely that there's so many people in the administration right now that are concerned about President Trump that they're probably all leaking at this point. And again, anybody who cares about preserving the rule of law should be very concerned over the president's actions, especially when it comes to uh, you know, getting favors from foreign powers. But anyway, uh, and, and by the way, on that, the president's not above the law. That's why it's important. Uh, we're not ruled by a king. You know, we kind of hold a whole revolution over that. And so, yes, we like to hold our president to a somewhat higher standard. At least you would think, right? Uh, but apparently not with Trump. Okay, anyway. So now, neither Bolton or White House uh, had commented on the president's suspicions, but Trump alley Matt Schlapp talked to the Daily Beast. And this is fun. Now, he believes that the leaks are coming from career folks inside who hate Donald Trump, of which there will probably be a great many. Although, he says, I'm not really certain it could be Bolton. Okay, fair enough, right? Uh, look, I think a lot of people inside do despise Donald Trump, uh, not because, oh, they're liberal plants, they're leftovers from the Obama administration, blah, 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 right? Uh, they hate Trump just because they hate him. They hate him because they hate him. Okay, well, uh, no. Here's the thing. Donald Trump stabs everybody in the back, even the most loyal people. Look at Michael Cohen. I mean, look at all the people he stabbed in the back. I mean, talk to the Kurds. He might have a thing or two to say, but uh, he look, he's only loyal to himself. We know that and is really, really unintelligent. Anybody who actually cares about governance would be unnerved by President Trump. And that's why even Republicans are like, dude, no, not interested at all. This guy's a moron and he's actually going to hurt the conservative movement down the line. So that's going to hurt all of us. Now, that said, Schlapp continues. <clears throat> he says, and, and this, is, this, is, this is funny, quote, Trump's smarter than that, although he does aggressively defend himself. No, Trump's not smarter than that. No, he's an absolute idiot. Now, it's important to note why. Matt Schlapp is saying that his wife, Mercedes, happens to work for the Trump re-election campaign. So, yeah, let's be fair. Uh, now, Trump, deeply paranoid. I don't really blame him at this point because there are a lot of people who are against him and for good reason. So apparently he no longer trusts anyone 
to put out its messages. And that's why there's not a lot of people out there actually fighting against the impeachment inquiry uh, on TV, except for himself and Rudy Giuliani. And of course, that's making his other allies a little nervous. In fact, a veteran GOP consultant, John uh, uh, Brabender, Brabender, says there's a certain level of frustration that all of a sudden the president says something, then Rudy does, and it's not always consistent. There's a frustration that not everybody knows what they should be doing. It is not that they can't defend the president. It is a frustration that they don't know exactly how they're supposed to defend the president. So basically, uh, no one knows what they're doing. It's a complete madhouse. It's chaos. And why? Of course, it's because the leader is an idiot. <laughs> he, he, he's deeply, deeply unintelligent. He's ironically running this just like he runs his businesses, of which he crashed uh, and went bankrupt six times. I'm just saying, not a smart person. Not a good manager. His managerial style is complete and utter dysfunction. And so, of course, nobody knows how to defend him. And then when they do try to defend him and fail, he blames him. He says, how dare you? Why, why, did, you, why did you go and look like an idiot on TV? Because you wanted me to. You can't win with this guy. You, you can't. You can't. Uh, so now, again, people close to him are saying, well, that's why he gets nothing done. Not not because he's an idiot. No, 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 no. It's because apparently it's this vast conspiracy to try to take out Donald Trump, to try to stop him, and that is why Donald Trump can't get anything done. It has nothing to do with uh, the fact that he basically can't control Congress at this point. Uh, a lot of congressional Republicans secretly despise him, and plus they already got their tax cuts, so... I guess they're like, okay, well, we got that. Now all we have to do is just publicly defend him every once in a while, and we'll be fine. And we'll continue to get the idiots to vote for us. The idiots, of course, being the uh, Donald Trump base. Uh, so um, now let me give you another quote here from a former campaign aide, San Numberg. So this is interesting, right? Uh, so now he talks about why stuff doesn't get done uh, and – why, of course, uh, you know, wh wh what he dislikes most in the media, I should say. So now he said, in my experience, what he despises is somebody writing that Donald Trump feels under siege and that his emotions are this and his thinking is this. He hates people saying what he is thinking. So what does he do? Trump leaks on himself to counter the outside leaks. And then we find out of course, what I was saying all along, who the biggest leaker in the White House is? It's not John Bolton. It's not Kellyanne Conway. No, it's Donald Trump himself. Awesome. <laughs> One of his most frequent tricks, according to Nunberg, in terms of talking about himself on background, is him having the reporter say he is someone, quote, familiar with the president's thinking. So he kind of turns it. And look, one thing that I give Trump credit for is he's good at PR, he's good at marketing. And so that is actually not a bad rhetorical trick. No, no, I, I've got this information, but you need to say that people familiar with the president's thinking to counter what the press is doing, of course, is talking to people also familiar with the president's thinking. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. So now what's interesting about this is that sources are saying uh, that Trump is counting on the media to defend him when it comes to impeachment. Again, going back to him not trusting anybody except for him and Giuliani. Uh, quote, uh, this is, uh, like I said, according to a Senate source, uh, he's apparently so anxious about GOP support in the Senate, he's taken to sending Wall Street Journal columns against the House inquiry. So he's scared. He's worried. Like, I don't know, the Senate could vote to impeach and remove me. Uh, that might be a really bad thing. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just blanket it with pro me articles. And, you know, uh, I, I'm going to I'm going to send them all to my Republican colleagues in the Senate and hope that they listen. Fascinating. Uh, now, in short, basically, he has no idea what he's doing and is relying on a desperate strategy to keep Republicans in line. 
Now, that does not bode well for the president. Again, all you have to do is to have 20, about 20-ish Republicans defect and vote in favor of impeachment and removal. That's it. 35 have said off the record, if it were a silent vote, right, uh, or if it were an anonymous vote, they would immediately vote to impeach and remove the president. He is not doing well, not at all, and has no idea how he's going to get out of this hole he dug for himself. Sad. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc., we're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.